On today's Maker Mashup, we're talking about 0.9 degree stepper motors. So today we're going to be talking about 0.9 degree steppers. Now, for a little while now, I'm starting to see really a lot of 3D printer manufacturers that are starting to include 0.9 steppers in their advertising and claiming that it's got a significant uh, difference to the print quality when you use a 0.9 stepper. So as we have built the X301 here, I'm always looking at ways to improve the printer. And when we originally designed it, we used 1.8 steppers. So I was very curious if we should be switching to 0.9 steppers to really get a higher quality print. So I wanted to run some experiments and I wanted to see for myself a lot of the difference that a 0.9 stepper could make. Now, one of the things that 0.9 steppers are known to fix are VFAs or vertical fine artifacts. Now, if you've ever done a test cube or any other 3D print and seen a long stretch of a straight flat surface, you've probably seen these vertical fine artifacts. And what they are is they really look like a vertical line that's in your print. It looks very much like ringing. The difference is, is it's way past one of the corners. So it's not a symptom of starting and stopping like ringing is. So I was largely curious to find out whether or not the 0.9 stepper will make a huge improvement over the 1.8 degree stepper. Now for the experiments today, what I'm going to be doing is I created a test object which has some straights in it. It's also got a few different raised portions and recessed portions, and then there's some curves on it as well. And then what we're also going to be doing is looking at it in vase mode. Vase mode really shows a lot of artifacts that other 3D prints don't because uh, a lot of the driver noise and things like that will get put into a vase mode print that doesn't necessarily show up when you're printing, uh, say, a regular test cube or any other sort of test object. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at those objects both before and after installing the 0.9 drivers. And then we're going to be judging them underneath a microscope as well as just visually to see if we can tell a real big difference with them. So with all that said, let's get to work. So let's talk about what the 0.9 degree stepper is really going to gain us here. So in a normal 1.8 degree stepper, what you have is 1.8 degrees per step. Now for the stepper itself, you get 200 revolutions of that stepper in those 1.8 degrees. Now with a 0.9, that resolution doubles, so you get 400. Now you don't actually get that many steps in your 3D printer where the printhead is because you have the pulleys involved. So what you usually get from most 3D printers is you're going to get about 80 steps for one revolution of the stepper into your 3D print. So in order for it to move one whole revolution of the stepper, you're going to move 80 full steps. Now the 0.9 should increase that then to 160. So in theory, we're getting a much finer level of resolution or granularity to the stepper at the actual printhead. So the hypothesis here is that you should get a considerably better print and it should have less problems because those steps are much smaller. So therefore, you're not making as big a jump before the next step. So here we have a 20 millimeter test cube and this test cube is showing the vertical fine artifacts. The real key here is that if you look across the entire width of the test cube, you can see that those vertical fine artifacts or those vertical lines, which appear just like ringing, are showing up in the print. Now, if you look at other sides of this test cube, you'll see that the vertical fine artifacts are not as predominant on other sides. So it does really vary on which direction the printer is moving and how it's going to print in order to really get a view of those vertical fine artifacts. Now, here we have ourselves the 0.9 degree stepper. And as you can see, the surface finish on this is considerably cleaner. Now, from a distance, you really can't tell the difference very well, but close up under the microscope, 
you can see here that there are no vertical fine artifacts here in the print. So this is just a test cube. So why don't we take a look at some other prints as well? So here we have two prints that are bottom to bottom and it's the exact same print. The only difference here is one was printed with the 0.9 and one was printed with the 1.8. And this is where really my opinion of the 0.9 stepper has changed. When I looked at the test cube, I thought, wow, this is making a huge difference. But when I look at an actual print where there's movement and everything going on uh, with the 3D printer, and it's not just a flat straight line, I see this. Now there's visible infill in here, and there's also a number of uh, ringing marks that are being made when the letters are being either recessed or extruded out of the flat surface. But what's clear here is that you can't really see a difference between the 0.9 and the 1.8 stepper on an actual print. So which one do you think was the 0.9 stepper? The 0.9 stepper is actually the bottom one. So looking at this, I actually see the same amount of defects in both prints here and it doesn't matter which stepper I'm using. And you see very much the same thing outside of the microscope. So if we look at just the reflections in the light here, you could see maybe a little bit of vertical fine artifacts here, but overall it's pretty much what we see on the microscope. There's a little bit of ringing, there's some visible infill, but at a distance here, it's pretty hard to tell a lot of the defects the lines look straight. The one thing that the slicer is doing is putting that little bubble there into the 3D print, and I'll talk about that in a minute here. So here is our 0.9 stepper, and honestly, I can't tell the difference. Maybe a little bit smoother with the vertical fine artifacts, but again, visible infill in here and a little bit of ringing from the letters really makes us hard to tell if there's any difference here. And as we look at it on the other sides, it's pretty much the same way. I think right here I can see very much a similar amount of vertical fine artifacts, but really hard to tell. Uh, looking at this, it's so hard to see any real difference in the print. Uh, and you see that same bubble that exists there as well in the uh, 3D print. And when I saw that, I decided, well, maybe we didn't really see a change because of the stepper. So I created a print and I did this one in an HD format. Now what I call HD is really I just bumped up the resolution in Cura. So instead of it being a half a millimeter resolution, I changed it down to uh, somewhere around a quarter of a millimeter of resolution. So very, very small amount and not seeing any difference in the print here either. The ringing's the same when it comes to the text. The infill, of course, is still visible, but it did get rid of that one nasty little bump that was in the uh, corner here. So that's completely gone now that uh, I went ahead and up the precision in Cura but it really made no difference in the print itself, really just the section here. Okay, let's look at the vase mode print now. Now, as I look at this, it looks pretty good. There's some surface imperfections, but other than that, uh, curves look just fine on here, and I'm really not seeing anything special. Uh, the one thing I did notice here from probably the stepper driver is that all the prints have this line that kind of goes in the same spot. Uh, it could be the Z-join too, I'm not sure, but at the very least you can see here that in the light on this shiny plastic, everything pretty much looks the same. So when we look at the point nine here, not really seeing a difference. Same similar surface imperfections, uh, that line is in there as well. And as we go around the print, I'm really not seeing anything that would say this print was clearly done with a 0.9 stepper. Now, what I also do with the vase mode as well is I thought, well, maybe I need to increase the resolution like I did on the one print. So I used that same setting where we had a quarter of a millimeter resolution. And as I printed this one, 
it looks the same as the others. So really didn't get rid of anything. It didn't change anything. And the print for the most part looks identical to the other two that are printed here. And this is looking in the reflections and really trying to catch the light of this print. If you stand five feet away from these, you can't tell the difference between them. Okay, so showing all of this off, I was a bit surprised by the results. I think there really was a little bit of a difference in the very fine artifacts, but I think one of the biggest things that really surprised me was that there was very little difference, especially at a microscopic level, of really what this 0.9 stepper is going to do. Now, my printer is set up exactly the same way. The only difference is we change the steps per millimeter. Uh, it's using 16 micro stepping on it. And with the difference between the 1.8 to the 0.9, you can see some very, very small changes, but I don't know that I feel like this was something that was so drastic or life-changing in my prints. I think this was just something that, to me, seems a little more hype than actual quality. Now, in order to see these vertical fine artifacts in your prints, you also have to hit the light just right. And I'm sure for some prints that really makes a difference, but if you're looking at a print where there's a lot of noise in the surface itself, so let's say you're printing 3D models or tiles or things like that, I don't know that you're really going to notice those vertical fine artifacts unless you're running a very long surface where it's a very straight line and you don't want those artifacts to show. So for me, I feel like the 0.9 stepper is more hype than helpful. I think it does have some advantages, and of course your quality is a little bit better, but even when I showed the HD print where I had changed the resolution in Cura to a very, very high resolution, I couldn't see anything visually that really made that print look that much different. There were some less defects in Cura, but I'm kind of curious to see if that was because of the 0.9 stepper or just because I increased the uh, resolution and Cura. So I may run a few more follow-up tests to this, but overall I'm not seeing a drastic change with the 0.9 stepper. So I'm curious to hear from you, the community. Have you installed a 0.9 stepper? And if you have, what were your results? Were you using something like an A4988 driver where it does produce a little bit more noise so the smaller steps help more? or were you using it with Trinamic drivers and really didn't see a change at all? Since I use the Trinamic drivers and don't really use printers with the uh, non-silent steppers anymore, I don't really think this is an issue for me, but for some people with a, uh, an, let's say an older printer or even an Ender 3, where a lot of them uh, have those A4988s, this could indeed make a small difference for your print quality, but I would think that it would be a much better upgrade to go ahead and go to the Trinamic drivers versus worrying about something like the stepper motor and increasing the resolution on that stepper motor. So with that is gonna bring the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. I'd be very interested to hear your feedback on this video and any of the tests that you might have run yourself trying to get better prints from your 3D printer. Now, I also want to give a big shout out to Dano and to Buddy in our Discord. Uh, they are two of our MVPs, and if you have not checked out our channel Discord, I really suggest you give it a try. It is like an open makerspace, and we've got over 700 different makers in there all working on different projects. So it's a great place to find out and get help on any project that you might be working on. And links for that are down in the description. If you're interested in helping support the channel, please check out our Patreon page. And patrons often get early access to a lot of the content that we produce here on Makers Mashup. So with all that said, I wanna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.